Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your on Captain.com. Today we're going to be doing a downgrade of iOS 10.21 back to 10.2. Now we got a lot of questions after I released the jailbreak earlier yesterday and today. People needing to know how they could downgrade. So I thought this would be an awesome video to make and put out there. And you can use it on down the road too, you know, when when the firmwares are different, it really doesn't matter. However, there is a little bit of a difference because when you have put the iPhone 7 in DFU mode, there is a difference with that. And I already have a video out about that if you want to go check that out. I'll be sure to put that in the link description below. But the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open up iTunes and we're going to connect our device and once we have opened up iTunes and connected our device I'll show you that we are currently in 10.2 right now uh, this is an iPhone 7 that I just got today and it's got 10.2 on it currently and I'm going to update it to 10.21 then I'm going to uh, attempt to bring it back so if everything goes according to plan uh, we should be good to go and it shouldn't be that big a deal but as you can see on the screen here now that it's actually going through the process of checking uh, it says a lot we need to allow access to respond on the iPhone so what we have to do is actually give trust on the iPhone before it can actually update is what that's referring to so iTunes is going through a little bit of a check here and checking with the I, uh, Apple to see if the device is eligible for a, an update, which it is. And I'm going to choose to download this over the air, the OTA method, uh, and actually install it from the device itself as opposed to downloading 10.21 and installing it that way. But here's what I was talking about earlier. We have to actually give out trust to the device on the screen and don't get yourself locked up and not being able to figure out what's going on. It keeps telling you to allow access, allow access. That's what it's referring to. So now once we have gotten the iPhone to be trusted, we're gonna to have to set it up as a new iPhone uh, in order to do this. And as you can see here, we're also on 10.2. Uh, I'm showing you here in iTunes it's an iPhone 7 and it's on 10.2 right now so you, you see that that is legit we are not magicians or performing any kind of uh, video magic and you also see the pop-up here that we do have a 10.21 update available and we're going to download that and I'm walking through the steps now, but the first thing we need to do, and I almost forgot, which is most importantly, and I preach this in all my videos when I'm jailbreaking, be sure to do two things. First, back up, back up, back up. Secondly, you need to always make sure you turn your passcodes off. I hate those passcodes. I don't even know why people need them unless they're out in the public or whatever, but uh, I've actually got family and the only people in the house is just family and they still have passcodes. So unless they're doing something that they don't want the other person to know about, then it shouldn't matter about the passcode. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So you see I'm agreeing and going through the 10.2.1 updates process here to get 10.2.1 on my device so we can then go back down and we're gonna do this using an IPSW and any IPSW files you might need you can find on iPhoneCaptain.com uh, just go on there and search the IPSW files downloads and it'll pop it up I have a little search box in the, in the uh, sidebar you can search for anything on the site but as you can see we're wading on deep out deeper into the water here and uh, Things are going pretty smoothly, but I'm sure going to show you a site here called IPSW Downloads. If you want to get your uh, download from there, you can. That's an awesome site too. And what I like about this site is you can also, you know, check to see what kind of device you have. You can check to see if the jailbreaks are out, and if your device is jailbreakable. If you're not very familiar with the types of devices or the types of jailbreaks that are out. 
then this is a very good site, especially for beginners or anyone that's just a newbie in general to jailbreaking, which you know, I'm sort of an old school here. I've been at it since the first iPhone, so I got a few jailbreaks under my belt and it doesn't really bother me that bad. But anyway, IPSW.me or as I prefer, go over to iPhoneCaptain.com and just search up IPSW downloads and you'll find all of the same links over there so here you see now we're back we've got I, uh, ios 10.2 software update available and it's already downloaded on the device now i'm just going to simply hit install now and it will basically walk me through those same steps that we just saw previously when uh, we have to check with Apple and verify and do all that stuff again. Uh, it'll just do it again here, only this time it'll do it for iOS 10. But you can see here on my device, I do have 10 to 1 installed now. It is there. And you can see my carrier, everything, all that stuff. But that, all of this stuff's been changed. So don't worry about sending me comments or emails. Hey, I saw your... Uh, telephone number or I saw your whatever none of this stuff is is there anymore this phone is now on Verizon it has a different phone number everything about it will change tomorrow I just have to wait 24 hours for it to take effect so getting back to the actual video at hand here now is the 10 to 1 version you see here on the screen and we're going to go back down now so let's go ahead and get started with that so what we have to do now is we have to actually put 10 to back on the device and to do that you have to have download the IPSW file and you need to I usually save these downloads to the desktop so I can find them faster and easier for me and then you have to hold down the option alt key if you are on a, a mac if you are on windows you'll have to hold down the uh shift key and click on the restore button and you have to do those things together in order to get the pop-up box to come up so you can then choose your ipsw file and you'll see more about that when we get to it here on the screen just in a second uh, once we get to that actual process but the first thing we have to do is put the phone in DFU mode and putting the iPhone 7 in DFU mode is a little bit trickier I won't say trickier but it's different you just have to hold the power button and the volume down key rather than the home key so put the device into DFU mode Make sure you're connected and put it in DFU mode. Then you hold down Option Alt, click on Restore, and you're seeing me do that right there. You saw me do that right then. And you get the little pop-up box you see. Now I can choose my firmware. And you see I've already downloaded it. Right there it is, iPhone 7. Uh, you see Restore.IPSW. That's it. Then you click Open. And now the device will actually go through the process of installing iOS 10.2 on your device and it takes a few minutes for it to do that and of course it has to go back through some of the same verifications again and what I'm going to do I'm just going to speed through some of this and I'm going to bring in and show you right up at the end where we have 10.2 on the device that way you don't have to sit through a lot of hoopla so here we are guys on the screen you see we've got iOS 10.2 is there it did work everything went smooth hope you enjoyed the video don't forget guys as always please leave a thumbs up and a like and share this video it really helps us a lot if you aren't a subscriber most of all hit that subscribe button if you want more videos like these and more jailbreak tutorial videos uh, just uh, awesome iPhone videos and as always keep coming back